A seminar designed to help protect houses of worship from violence is planned for this weekend in the Mid-South. It's being put on this weekend by Brown Missionary Baptist Church in South Haven, Mississippi. WRHG's Marcus Hunter tells us why those behind this project believe this seminar could save lives. Members of Brown Missionary Baptist Church wanted to know if churchgoers know safety protocols at their church. They are holding a seminar called Protecting the Flock this Friday and Saturday. Really wanting people to be able to come to this seminar to have the training they need to take back to their institutions to be able to keep their congregants safe. They are hoping individuals from the security team, church and community leaders, pastors, deacons, even volunteers register for the two day event. We want people to really take a full 360 look. How do we look from the outside? Uh, what are the vulnerable spots? You know, what are the risks on the parking lot? You know, is it enough lighting? Could somebody trip? Uh, you know, is water left in the baptism pool and that's a risk that someone can drown? All of those things. When we think about violence in the church, it is often an active shooter situation, but this seminar will be focusing on several different types of security threats. Everything from protecting the children, uh, you know, from custody related issues and just, you know, there is a lot of predators and things out there, even from the cyber side, fraudulent activity uh, that take place. He said in some cases it may require houses of worships to hire armed security or train members of the congregation to handle a threat or to know what suspicious activities to look for. You don't want someone to rush in and escalate a situation that can simply be have been de-escalated. And so training your team, whether it is a couple of people and you have 20 people in your sanctuary or thousands, that each team knows how to respond to those. In South Haven, Marcus Hunter, WREG News Channel 3. Trying to keep everyone safe. That event is going on this Friday and Saturday, and there is still time to sign up. You can find a link for registration on our website, WREG.com.